I'd like to welcome everybody to today's training. It's November 21st, 2016, and that is the U.S. date. For those of you in Asia, it's happening on the 22nd. Same for those of you in Europe. It's a little bit late over there, but it is recorded, so that'll give everybody a chance to view the actual uh, training. And there's a lot to cover. First, we're going to start off with KYC. So let's get into that. What does KYC mean? It means, and it stands for Know Your Customer. Why does Carrot Bars need to do this? Well, there's a couple reasons. They need to know that you are who you say you are. Because we're dealing with gold as a commodity, okay? And when we're dealing with commodities, we need to identify ourselves. So everybody needs a government-issued photo ID, okay? A government-issued photo ID. It can be a driver's license or a passport or a government state ID. If you're in the United States, they have state IDs. Some other countries have government employment IDs, which are also acceptable. A lot of people don't know that. But again, this is done for a couple reasons, money laundering, as well as you're dealing with a commodity such as gold. So we have to prove who we are as well as our address. So those are, that's why people are always asking about that. The next thing you need is a proof of residence. And again, that's to justify your ID. But on a passport, there is no address. So that makes it a little bit easier. But Let's get into the proof of residence. You can use it a utility bill, any kind of utility bill, a cell phone bill, a bank statement. Now, with a bank statement, they just need the first page with your address on it, okay? You can use an insurance statement, health insurance, life insurance. If you're paying monthly fees, it's got to be a monthly bill. You can use... Uh, auto insurance, as long again as it's a monthly recurring bill, insurance statements are fine. So any recurring bill. So keep that in mind. And you can do that real quick. Let me show you what happens when you click on that link for Know Your Customer or KYC. It's going to explain a little bit of what they need. And it need, can't be larger. The si file size can't be larger than 10 megabytes. Okay. And it could be a JPEG, GIF, PNG, or PDF format. Any one of those formats is fine. They are very picky about this. Like if you take a picture of your cell phone bill, it needs to include the entire page. No wrinkles, no folds. It, it's got to look perfect. They are really picky, so lay it down flat. I will tell you it's best if you scan it. And same thing with your driver's license or passport. And with your passport, they usually want to see the two pages, the one with your photo and the one that's right above that. So that works best for the passport. Again, they want it framed out pretty much for that whole page. So they can see it. It's clear. And same thing for that bill. That bill has got to be the entire page. Some people just put the the return or the address on the bottom portion where you send the money in, all that, what you're going to send in. No, they want the full page, okay? So make sure that's so important because a lot of them will get turned down. Get to that in a moment. So when you're sending up your KYC, you can see here it says select document type. You'll see the ID and, and then proof of residence. That'll appear when you click that box. So you're going to click the ID first, and it'll say driver's license or passport. Then you go to your computer, because if you have it saved on your computer, which you need to do either from your phone taking a picture or you scanned it, you're going to select Choose File, that button. Click that button, and then your computer will open up, and then you upload that file to Carrot Bars. Okay? Very simple. You're going to select Document Type. There's two choices there, so you got to do this twice. One for the ID. And the second one for the proof of residence, okay? So it's so important that you do it the right way because this will help you get it done quickly. And 
The good news is I now have a direct line with Germany. So if there's any challenges or issues, I can uh, get these resolved pretty quickly. So they're starting to notice our team uh, because of our productivity, but now we need to get more on the webinar. The word's still not out there. I know some people told me they're working at night. Some people just have other plans. I know the holidays are coming up for those watching the recording. The, this is right near Christmas time. But the goal is to get people to these webinars, especially from your team. Okay, so let's continue here. I want to show you an example. I took out the name, but you'll see a status report. Okay, and you'll see the proof of ID and the proof of address. And this is still pending. All right, still pending. It'll either say declined or approved in the KYC status column. So we want it to say pending at least and then approved. Could take two or three days depending on the ID and how busy they are, how many people are coming on board. But that's what we want. And I'll tell you the file uploaded from your computer in that column. But again, I crossed that out or blocked that out because I didn't want to share the person's name on a training webinar. All right. Let's get to Facebook marketing. And I will tell you, I do this a lot. Some of you on this webinar see me on Facebook all the time because that's what I'm doing. I'm busy promoting carrot bars because carrot bars can be your retirement plan. You're building up your future with carrot bars. And eventually, it's working on autopilot. Now, you put a good two years into carrot bars, there are people in carrot bars making some very good money in two years. And you're done. But you're constantly building because you're at that point, you're really enjoying it. I'll tell you, people enjoy programs a lot better when they're making money. So let's talk about Facebook marketing. And then I'm going to take you to Facebook and show you <clears throat> exactly what I'm doing. For those of you that just came on, You'll see a section that says handouts. Should be five out of five. You want to click on those handouts. There's five of them. One of them actually is for the posts that I use. They're sample posts that I use. Those of you that speak Spanish may want to translate it in Spanish, but if you're going to post in English speaking groups, that may not be a good idea. Then there's going to be four graphics that I use. And we'll get to that in a moment. So one has a list of all the different posts they have in a word format. So you can copy and paste it. You can add to it whatever, however you want. And then the other four handouts on the webinar are for the actual graphics. Those of you watching the recording, we have a training page and it will appear on our training page, the handouts. So you won't be left out. I just need a few hours to get that online. So let's talk about it. We have a team group page, which I'll show you in a moment, called Carrot Bars International. There's things there that I don't put in my email updates because some of the videos don't allow me to put them there. But I do put them on the Carrot Bars International page. A lot of it lately, you'll see Michael Dalco, who's been just, I'm telling you, in two years, He's changed his life. He's full-time with this. He's full-time traveling and having fun. His retirement is set. That could be you in two years, even less. But the team group page, request to join that. That's in all my emails, by the way. There's a link there to join that page or that group. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to join other groups. And I'll show you how to do that as well on Facebook. Because you want to get into as many groups as you can that are business related. That's key. You don't want to get into social groups. You want to get into business related groups and we'll cover that. Then you're going to create a few posts. Now I've given you a bunch of them in the handout section. So again, you'll have the post there. You also want some of yours. And you want to think of something, maybe two or three posts a day just on your wall. So you let people know what you're doing. Then you use these specific posts that I have in the handouts to post in the groups. So you're posting in groups and you're posting on your wall. Use a large image. Now, if you look at my attachments, four of them are images. 
and they're all large. Why large images? Because when people are browsing in the groups, what do they see first? The image. The image draws them into your post, and then they recognize it, and they may not respond right away. They may take a few times to see it, sometimes 10, 15, 20 times before they respond. They'll either like it or they'll comment. I'll tell you, if they like it, that's something you want to do is maybe click on that likes and then click on their uh, their name and send them a comment on their wall. Post something on their wall. See if they're interested. You can send them a link to our team website. So many things you can do. So with a large image and your post that you created or use the post that I have in images that I'm giving you in this webinar, you're going to post in the different groups. And we'll talk about posting as well. Now, when you're posting in groups, you don't want to do more than 36 groups at a time. And it takes me a couple of minutes, maybe three minutes to do 36 groups. And then I'll come back later and do another 36 groups, okay? There's a reason for that, and I'll bring it up again because people are coming on. If you post in too many groups, you're going to get noticed, and something will happen. I'll show you on this slide as well. We'll end with that on the slide. But you don't want to post too much too frequently. You can do 36 posts maybe every couple hours. Now, if you're busy working, obviously you can't do that unless you can sneak breaks from work. If you post too quickly, you'll end up in something called Facebook jail. Facebook jail means you're blocked from posting in groups. The first blockage may be three or four days. Sometimes it's only a few hours. But after the second or third blockage, it's 30 days you can't post in groups. Okay? You can't post in groups for 30 days. I know some people have a second Facebook account, so if they're blocked on one, they switch over to the other. They make sure they're in the same amount of groups or the same groups in each one of their Facebook accounts. Post only have one Facebook account, but that's what some people are doing. You need to be active on Facebook. Why? Because people notice activity. And sometimes the longer you're active, the better it's going to get. There are people that have commented on my post and said, I've been following you for three or four months and you're still doing carrot bars. It must be successful because a lot of people that are in business programs, three or four months, they're moving on to something else. They just think it's not working because it's not working for them. You got to give business a time. It doesn't happen overnight and it does take attitude and activity. You need to be active on Facebook if it's going to work. The majority of the people that you find on Facebook are probably not going to be good unless you can get them involved and educate them that business takes time. Now, people think they're going to get into a business and all of a sudden everybody's going to follow them and get in there. And then you got the other group of people. It's called NFL. NFL stands for not National Football League. It stands for No Friends Left. They've already gone through their list many times in many different programs. That's why I'm telling you, don't promote this as a business. Show them your gold card. Ask them how much gold do they have. Why don't you have gold? You have money sitting in a bank earning 0.01% interest. You got money in a CD, which stands for a certificate of depression, that's earning maybe at best 1%. And you got to keep it there for three years and have $10,000 to get that interest rate? That's crazy. Gold throughout history is pretty much outperformed everything. But yet only 1% of the population has it. So your target market is good, but they need to see you being active. And then you mention to them about gold. Become a teacher, not a salesperson. We're not selling anything. You don't sell gold to the people on your team. They acquire it themselves. They're exchanging their paper money for gold or they're earning gold as part of their commission, which is really wonderful. When you get that gold as commission, I've had some people tell me, well, can I just get the money and not the gold? But then they go out and spend the money. But if you get the gold, you don't spend the gold. It keeps growing in value. 
We need to train the way we think. We need to think differently. When we have cash, we spend it. When we have gold, we hold on to it, and it grows in value. And then you have that day, that emergency that comes up, and you have it. It's there for you. So important. Okay? Then you need to check and respond to notifications. And we're going to go over that as when we go to the Facebook page. So, again, check and respond to notifications. Notifications you'll see kind of toward the upper right of your Facebook page. Again, we'll review that because people will either like your page or they'll have a reaction to your page or your post, I should say, not page, and they may comment on your page. So let's take a look at all this work. So what we're going to do now is take you to Facebook Live. So let's go to Facebook Live. Okay, this is Facebook Live. Oh, good. I even got a friend request here. There's something new on Facebook, and you may see this. Let me see if I can find it. You may see some crazy things as I'm scrolling down because I can't control what people post. There's a new way now to add friends, and there's a list. Probably now that I need to show it to you, it's not here. But it shows pictures of different people. And you can go through that and you can add people. I recommend if you're going to add people, that you add people that have a lot of people in common with you. And a lot of, you know, eventually that number will increase in the beginning. You may have a lot of friends, so you can't have a lot of friends in common. But when you get into one, two thousand, three thousand friends, that can happen. Okay, and you have your different groups. I create my own group. We're going to have a different training on that creating your group because I capture a lot of leads real quick. Let me just show you one of my groups. Okay, there's three people want to join. I have 64,733 people in my group. This week, 1,083 new leads came in that joined my group. So what am I going to do? These three people, I click on this and I add them. Okay, so I'm adding people to my group. This is a little bit extra, just showing you how this works. Okay, go back to my group. And what I do is every few hours or so, I have my link here and I'm going to pin it. Now it's on, it's pinned, so it's always the top, top post, all right? But let's get into the actual posting on Facebook. This post is in one of the handouts. The one you see here, so is this graphic. Very powerful, free gold, Great income opportunity. If I can show you how to get gold each month and have someone else pay for it, would you like to know what I've been doing for almost three years? Now, yours won't say three years. Yours is a little different because you haven't been doing it three years, but you can put the amount of time where you just don't put it. Gold has increased in value by over 4,300% since 1932. Guys, what else has done that well? Nothing. How would you like to get paid to show people how to get free gold? We work as a team, so you're not doing this alone. If you'd like to get the details, inbox me and type free gold. Now, I'll tell you, people don't follow instructions. They may comment below. Say, I already have a person that liked it. And I just posted it an hour ago. So very quick. Okay. And then you continue here. I'm looking for serious people only. I have four packages to choose from starting at 150 US dollars. Now, what I did here is, I screen people that are looking for free programs. People looking for free programs will not succeed and will not put in the time because they have nothing to lose. But then I say a small price to pay for business. Think about it, $150, small price to pay. This is an amazing program. This opportunity is in 119 countries. That will be growing next year. They'll be adding more countries. And the reason why it takes time to add countries one is you're dealing with gold as a commodity. And two, can they get it delivered to them? Will FedEx go to certain regions in that country? So that's also important. It's not just about can they do it there? Can they actually get possession of the gold? So again, that's what I do. So let me show you how I post. Well, actually, let, you know what? Let's go to add groups first. And I have a section called groups here. And you can always search for add groups on top. But where it says groups, I click more okay groups i click more and then when it goes to that it'll open up a list of all the groups and then you'll see this is the groups these are all the groups 
that I'm part of. And there's lots of them. I'm not going to go through the whole list right now. But there's another link here that says Discover. Click on Discover. This is how you join groups, okay? Important. You have different um, group categories, friends, local, buy and sell, funny, and there'll be more that comes and added on. Identity and relationships, food, spiritual, inspirational, card, some motorcycle. Oh, here's a good one. Professional networking. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for large groups. When you're new, 13,000 or more, I'd say even 10,000 or more members, that's good. Because when you post, there's a potential for a lot of those members to see it. They're not all going to see it because they're not online. 13,000 members, work from home opportunities for all four. That sounds good. I'm going to request to join that group. Look at this one, 25,000 or 23,544. Make more money, no BS or ban. I'm going to click to join that one. Then I'm going to go to see all. And what that's going to do, it's going to open up all the other groups that are in that category that are being promoted at this time. Okay, they they use there's see more. Let's see. Let's just see more for that group. So again, this is things that you can do. And then there's more suggestions here. And I'm looking through these. Okay, 11,000. Now, you may want to add this group, but I'm limiting mine to larger groups. But when you're first starting, you want to do that. Millionaire Mentor Insiders, I'm going to add that group. Make Money Online USA, 32,660. I'm definitely not going to add this one or this one. You probably want to add Planet Millionaire Success Group. Again, I'm looking for larger groups because I've been doing this for a while. 15,000 work from home jobs and sales. I'll go add that one. And it may take time for them to re to uh, approve your request. It may not happen overnight. Houston now hiring. You can do whatever you want, if you, especially if you're near that market. Advertise your business. Hey, that's one I definitely want to do. There's a lot of great successful women out there. I'm going to see, see how simple this is. Work from home. Hey, you're looking for that. I'm in Florida. Jobs in Jacksonville. Okay, I'm going to take that. Uh, this is one for people that speak Spanish. Great one, you, you you join that group. The MLM Canada and USA, I'm going to do over 20,000, almost 21,000 members. Work at home, this is Canada, I'm going to do that one. New York City Jobs, I know some of you on this webinar are from New York. Hey, that's one you probably need to do. Now, Russia is no longer part of Carrot Bars right now because there's an issue with delivering gold that may be worked on in the future. But I'm going to join that one anyway because there's a lot of people that may be Russian that are in the U.S. or other countries that are involved. Another one in Spanish. So you get the idea. You want to join the groups, and that's by clicking groups first. I had that over on my when I went to click on home, and then I clicked on groups and then discover. Let's repeat the process again. Okay. So we're going to go groups. I click on the word more. You can always search for groups here, and then I click on Discover. And there's other categories, too. I can just show you. They're up on top as well. Professional networking. Uh, you may have business is another one that you can do. So just look, look for these different types of categories and find one that you like and then market to that group. Okay? So now let's get back to groups. And we'll go to some of the groups I just posted. When you see an active group, it'll say 10 plus on red posts. That means there's 10 or more posts in that group since the last time you posted. Now, I posted a few minutes before we started the training. And you can see this one has got 7, 10, 10, 10. These are pretty active. Then you have some 2. That's not so active. Well, with this one, I'm probably going to leave that group because it's just not enough activity. So I just left that group. Now I scroll down and I see more. Most of these are, have been older posts. Again, I only do 36 at a time and then come back a couple hours later. So let me show you how I do this fast. And I do a lot of international groups because I have a good sized team in Asia and in Europe and Africa starting to grow. So again, this depends how you want to build it. We're working on Jamaica right now. 
So let's click on, right here. I have 12 groups that are open. And I'll do this three times. I'll do the first 12 now, but I'm not going to just for this lack of saving time. This is what I'm going to do. Those of you with a PC, you're going to hold down the control button and click on the link. Okay. You're going to hold down the control button and click on the link. Watch what happens. It opens up a new tab at the top. Control button, click on the link. Those of you with, a, with an Apple, you're going to click on the command button and then click on the link. Control for PC, Apple, command. Click on the link. I'm going to do it again. Look what's happening here. Okay. I just opened up four links to the top. So now they're all loaded. I'm going to click on the first one here. I'm going to go to add photo. Do that. And this I already have ready to go. This is one, one of my graphics that I just showed you. The graphics can add. And I copied and then I just pasted my post, which you have in the handouts. This graphic and this post is in the handouts. And then I hit post. How easy is that? Let's Then I exit out. That window is now closed. New window opens. Add photo. Okay. Add the photo there. So you'll approve your request to join. Look at it. You see, remember I just requested to join that group? Guess what? I've just been approved. Approved for another one. So we're going to go to that in a moment. Okay, let's click these. Jennifer, she must be administrator for that. <clears throat> so I'm going to post in those groups. That's how easy it is. 19,969 new members I haven't been approaching before. Cancel out that window. Now I have a friend that wants to join this group. Guess what? I'm going to add this friend. And as soon as I add the friend, they're going to see a message that I added them. So they may check to see what I'm doing. Again, I'm constantly marketing. But I'm also going to post in that group. And they're going to get a notification. And they're going to see what I'm doing. Close that one out. Now, this is important. This is different. You don't see add photo here because Facebook has different ways you can set up your group. It'll either say start a discussion and sell something over here, or it'll be sell something and start a discussion. You don't want to click sell something. So when you see sell something or start a discussion, or it could be reversed, you click on start a discussion. And this took me a while to figure out because I said, how am I going to upload a graphic? You go to the camera. So start a discussion, click on start a discussion, click on the camera. And now you can open up your database and attach your graphic. And then you paste your message. See how fast that is? Close out that window. I'm back here. Now what I do is I scroll down and I'll do another four. Okay, let's just do this for it right here. Okay. Let's, let's use another four. Okay, let's do, that's another care bars. I won't post in that care bars group because that's another group. They That's for their own support. But make money online. Again, I'm holding down the command or the control button, depending if you have a Mac or PC. I'm doing the four there. And look how fast this is. Really, it's it's very fast. I have three friends that want to join this group because I have lots of friends. So the more friends you have, the more they're going to want to join. I'm adding all three. They're all going to see in their notification that I added them. All right. Photo. Add the photo. Again, you should get the idea right now. Repetition is good when it comes to training. And the, and the more you do this, the faster you get. So you can see I'm doing one every few seconds. 36 is not going to take a long time. Lunch break at work, 15-minute break at work. You can do a lot more than 36, but don't do more than 36 at a time. Facebook jail will get you. Now, see, your post has been submitted and is pending approval by an admin. That's important because next time when I come back to this group and this is still here, I leave that group because that means this, this admin person is not reviewing the posts. So, again, if you see this, this message here, the next time you come back to that group, chances are they're not reviewing, and that's not a good 
admin for that group, so you leave. Most of the time, I don't have that problem. Then I do one more time, add photo. Most of them have add photo instead of sell something or start a discussion. Again, depends on the groups you join. See, I just did all these groups. I'm getting in front of thousands of people, 20,439 members here. Are they all going to see this? No, but a good amount may see these. So now what happens is I'm posting in these groups. And I want to check my notifications because maybe somebody is responding. Cassandra Herzl replied to comment. Uh, so you, you check that. I know what her comment is. I know who she is. Um, you've got others here. So people will like it. You know, again, I just did this really quickly, so it's not going to have anything here. Okay, here I got approved to join this group, the one that I just requested. I already have a friend in this group, so I'm going to add them. I'm going to do the photo. They'll see that I added them. Go here. So what you're going to do, again, you click the notifications, and you're going to see if somebody liked your post or they commented on your post or they remark. A remark may be when you click here, like. Sometimes well, I won't show it now. I'm doing my own. But I'll give you a chance where it, there we go, where it says love, ha-ha, you know, wow, sad, angry. They'll react different ways. So you'll either get a like, a reaction, or a comment. Sometimes people market another business or something else. And you're, they do because they see you're getting a lot of attention. When that happens, you can delete their comment. And I usually, after that, I'll give you an option to block them. And I'll do that because if they do it once, they're going to do it again. So you can delete it. Somewhere there'll be an arrow after your post next to their post. There'll be an arrow. You would click on the arrow, and then there'll be a drop-down box, and you can say delete post. And then after that, it'll give you an option. There'll be some options, report or block, and you can do that. I click block. I just get rid of them. See, and you're constantly getting these notifications here. Then you got your message box, too. So these are things that, you know, like people are messaging me here. Like this one person here saw my post. You know, I was trying to give them my site there. So, again, this is people that are interested and he wants more information. So I'm getting a response. People are signing up. Face-to-face, -face obviously, will in your warm market, your friends, your family will be the best to work with. They know you. And people that are local, you can do some meetings whether it be at your house or somewhere else, an office, it doesn't really matter. That's where you get the best results, face-to-face. -face. But also when you have spare time, you're in business. Why not promote on Facebook and go out there? So again, we covered how to add your name to groups. And you can do quite a few of those per day because you want to get into a few hundred groups. Then we, we talked about how you post adding a graphic and the comment itself, which you have in the handout section. Make sure you're downloading all of those. This will be recorded and placed on our training page, which I'll show you that in a moment. So that'll be on the training page. Those of you watching the recording, you're already on the training page. So I don't need to do that. So we won't record that portion of it. And at that point, then you also know how to check your notifications. And you got to be good at notifications. You know, in any business, follow-up is critical. If you're not following up, you're losing business. Notifications is your follow-up system. Also, adding friends. Look here. See this link here? This is a friend request at the top. This person wants to be a friend. So I confirm. And Katie, and I, sometimes I'll check out their page and see what they're doing. She's from China. Hey, guess what? What's coming soon? The carrot bars. I just got a new contact. Are they into business? We don't know. I check and find out what they're into, what their interests are. And this will tell me. Solar powered, okay. Looks like she may be into some type of business. Yeah, quite a bit of business here. So that's good. What am I going to do next? Well, Han Katie, I want to put her in my group that I created with 60-some thousand people. Look at that. I just showed you last time we added a few people. 
there's three more people that want to join my group since we started this presentation. It's constantly growing. And these are new leads. And you can watch your group, who's posting what, and message them. Ask them how their business is doing. Most of the time, they'll make it up. They're not doing so well. There's Hen Katie. I just added her to the group. The number just changed. 1,087 new contacts this week. So you want to do what you can. Finally, let's close out with Carrot Bars International, our team group page. Some of you have your own team group pages. You may see it on the side there, but I'm promoting tomorrow night's webinar. How many people do you have coming to this webinar? This is the presentation. While you're learning, I do it for you. So promote this as much as you can. Share it. Get two or three people, friends on there. And these got some articles. I post articles that will help you with care bars and learn and get educated. This is a support and information page. Three reasons the dollar will fall under Trump because gold is going to rise. Okay, and this is from experts' opinion, not my opinion. Here's Michael Dalco, one of the true leaders and grew so fast in carrot bars. So I try to add his videos here. And, you know, it's, it's really good. This is Dan Boomer, who passed away last year unexpectedly, but a great leader in carrot bars. I had the opportunity to meet him uh, when he was in West Palm Beach, Florida. You know, this is incentive coming up for carrot bars. So people are going to be posting like that. You get a lot of guys, you're going to get a lot of women interest. When you get a lot of friends on Facebook, all these women try to get to know you. They say, oh, this guy's making money in business. So all of a sudden you become popular, but I'm married, so I'm not interested. And I let them know that right away. So there's so much stuff in this group page. And all you got to do is when you get my emails is request to join the group. And I'll add you to the group. Very simple. Okay, so I want to do now is stop the recording. So we're going to do that. Those watching the recording, we're done here.